Okay, so let's look at some. All right, here's what powdery mildew looks like. Okay, and here are some uh, cultivars of lilacs that are resistant. This is the Myers lilac, Palaban. You know, it's pretty purple flowers, four to five feet tall, like the common lilac, only it tolerates, you know, it's mildew resistant. It tolerates shade to some degree. It'll bloom on a minimum of four hours of sun, which is pretty good if you don't have you know, total sun for a lilac. It's good in a wide variety of soils, dry, moist, clayey, has pretty dark green leaves that turn purple in the fall. And this is another nice one. I see this out in, you know, offered for sale a lot. It's that Miss Kim lilac. It's a smaller plant. It's usually like four to six feet tall. Um, it's got nice purple buds that open to pale lilac flowers. It flowers a little bit later, has smaller leaves. It also tolerates a wide variety of soils. It does need a little bit more um, sunlight to bloom. It also has pretty fall color. Okay, here's our dreaded lace bugs. And this is the kind of damage they do. They have piercing, sucking mouth parts, and they're on the underside of the leaf. So a lot of times you won't even see them. What you start seeing is your azaleas are turning yellow, and they look all speckly. And it's because they're underneath sucking the life force out of them. <laughs> so here are three resistant cultivars for you. Um, this is Sun Glow. It's a five to six foot tall, vigorous grower. This is Elsie Lee. It's a little smaller. And this is Dream, and there are many more. I just threw, you know, a few out there so that you could see that, you know, there are some out there. Dream was actually one of the um, American Rhododendron Society's 2008 plant of the year. Um, they're all, you know, bred at different um, universities for resistance to lace bugs. But don't forget, you want to make your roadies and, and azaleas as happy as possible, which is dappled shade, very high organic matter soil, and you want to keep it a low pH, which means a lot of times don't keep mulching with hardwood mulch because that'll slowly raise the pH over time. So you want to use an, a, a more acidic type mulch if you're mulching under your azaleas. You want to go with the pine, pine bark, or something like that that's not going to raise your pH. Okay, here's some of the resistant dogwood hybrids, and I have been scouting these for over 10 years now, and they really are something else. You can see very clearly when we have those summers, you know, which ones are not getting powdery mildew, because the other ones are all cupping and curling, and their leaves are all twisting and looking nasty. So this is Celestial. It's a hybrid between our native and the... Um, Cornus Florida and Cornus Cusa, but the lead, the, the flowers look, you know, more flowering dogwood not like, not the other dogwood type. Um, it's they're white with a tinge of green. It's a very vigorous, erect, uniform um, selection. It's highly resistant to powdery mildew, and that anthracnose and the dogwood borer. So that's a really good one. Same thing with Aurora. Another one's 18 by 18 feet, vigorous, erect, it's low branching, has very heavy, heavily flowers, um, white, turning creamy white as they age. Again, very resistant to the mildew, the dogwood borer. It has partial resistance to the anthracnose. And then the, if you like the pink versions, there's stellar pink. It's another um, beautiful one that's 20 feet tall. It's, it, again, vigorous, erect, low branching, and very resistant <coughs> to those three problems again. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I believe they do. I couldn't tell you for sure, but I don't know. Do you know, Eric? I, I believe so. Some of them do, but I think you could find that out uh, if you do a little, little research. Yeah, you could. Tell your yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I didn't even mention that. You're right, Eric. A lot of these will have really beautiful berries, too, so you do get, like, you know, three-season interest with that. Okay, there's some pretty crabs out there, too. Here are some of those hybrids I was talking about. Um, this is what rust looks like on the fruit and on a leaf of a non-rust-resistant um, crab apple. Um, these are the calicarpas, I believe. No, that's red opening white. This is um, actually prairie fire. Calicarpa has red buds that open white, fragrant red, and then with red fruit. Um, 
prairie fire is this one. It has purplish tinged leaves that are very pretty, and then the pink flowers with red fruit. Um, and then again, good disease resistance, good urban tolerance. And Adirondack is pretty too. It's a little more upright um, than the other ones. Uh, narrow, it's kind of an inverted cone shape. So if you have a, a situation where you don't have quite the room that you'd like, you'd probably want to pick something like this. Um, flowers white with red tinged uh, to them and then red fruit. Another good one for disease resistance.